Hey everyone, Ken here. And the team here at Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life love our Glowforge. So much we've created a new series called the Glowforge Spotlight. And the first five videos is gonna focus on amazing files that we found with a great partnership with the Laser Shark on their Etsy store. We're gonna create these beautiful Tiki God board signs and even show you how we made this base. Now, if you love their files, and I know you will, make sure to use our coupon code, Ken. K10. It's going to give you 10% off everything in their store and their files are pretty amazing. And if you find yourself falling in love with the Glowforge, make sure to use the link down below. You can get up to $500 off the Pro Machine. So let's dive right in to these videos. Let's get started. Just a friendly reminder, this is a five part video series. Part one, we showed you how to make the background. Today, we're gonna do the Moon Tiki. Now we get all of our files from the Laser Shark. Why? Well, let's chat about that. The Laser Shark come ready to use, meaning they give you a full instruction sheet that tells you what the one cut SVG is, the SVG color by layer, what supplies you need, and some suggested tips. But they give you a photo of the final project, which I love. So in here, look at how many SVGs you get. Well, we're going to use the one cut and we're going to do that on our Glowforge. The app for the Glowforge is so easy. We're just going to upload the one cut, bring it in. And just like that, we're able to adjust our settings. Now we used the proof grade material for this project. And you're gonna see a little QR code, there it is. That QR code tells the Glowforge what material we're using, so in this case, medium draftboard, and all of the settings it will need to cut this. Just make sure your design is in the right area. It's set to cut and hit print. Your Glowforge will do the rest. It will prepare everything, and all you have to do is wait for that magical glowing light to start the cut. Once you've started the cut, we can watch the magic happen. Now we have sped up the process just a little bit here as this would have taken 11 minutes, but this machine is amazing. I will tell you when removing the project from your Glowforge, you're gonna wanna make sure you keep all of your pieces the right way up because if one of those little eyes turns over and you're not sure the direction it went, that could be a pain later on. We'll talk about that in the puzzle piece part of this video. But once your Glowforge is all done cutting, it's gonna tell you to keep the lid closed to minimize the smell and it's cooling down, but it really is just to minimize the smell. But look at this. Oh my gosh, look at all those pieces. It's time for the fun part to organize and paint our Moon Tiki. Now we're not using that background, but we'll use it later and I'll show you when. But first let's take off all this masking tape and there is a lot. So let's magic of editing, get rid of that. Now we will use the laser shark example to do painting. So the first is caviar. This is all of the black pieces of the Moon Tiki. Now be very careful to know which way your pieces go because if they accidentally flip over and you paint the wrong side it won't fit in the end and we learned that the hard way i like to use a sponge roller because it gives it a nice finished look look at that i know you're pretty impressed with our editing skills our next one is lucky lavender this is the lighter lavender color seen here in the photograph we're going to once again use a sponge roller now you could use a regular foam brush, but it gives harsh lines where the roller's very nice and it's perfect. It gives it a nice finished look and you can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere. And look at that. It doesn't do that. That That's just editing, but it does a pretty good job. The next layer is amethyst. This is the darker purple 
the nose, a little bit underneath the eyes. Once again, very important to make sure your pieces are organized because you do not want to mix these up or accidentally turn them over. We learned it the hard way and we had to recut it. So we'll use a sponge roller once again and boop. Oh, never gets old. I wish it was that way in real life, right? We're going to use pure ocean. This is for the teal moon and just a little few pieces. Now, once again, you could use a foam brush. I just wouldn't want to because it doesn't give you that nice finished look that you get here. It's now time to wake our moon tiki. Now, we did not use that background cut up, but we're going to use it as a template. And we'll talk about that in a second. I'm using Rapid Fuse and Ryobi Hot Glue. Rapid Fuse for the little tiny areas the Ryobi glue for those big areas. And look at that, it's a template, perfect. And now we can use the puzzle technique. I literally use the template to put in the first piece and then I work from the outside in. So if you just follow the instructions on your screen, I show you all the steps using both Ryobi glue and my super rapid fuse glue. It is so easy for this to come together and it's exactly like a puzzle piece. And just like that, you get your moon tiki. To finish, we're gonna take some twine and grab the Ryobi hot glue gun, switch it out for the Ryobi staple gun, staple your twine on, and just like that, you can go hang him anywhere you want. Make sure to check out our other videos on the tiki signs, and we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. Bye, everyone.